So in this example, we're being asked to find tangent of 15 degrees, and we have to use either the sum or difference formula in order to figure this out. All right, so we cannot use a calculator, but to the right here, I have the difference formula written for tangent because that's what we're gonna use here. So for example, I have tangent of 15 degrees. What I wanna do here is I wanna think about how I can rewrite this. And I can do that the following way. I can do tangent of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, okay? That is tangent of 15 degrees, but we just rewrote it, and now it's in the difference formula, right? We're in the right format, so I can go ahead and expand it out. Remember, this is gonna be my U, and this is my V, right? So we're gonna go ahead and rewrite it like this. So I have tangent U, which is again 45 degrees, and we have minus tangent of 30 degrees, and then we have one plus tangent of 45 degrees times tangent of 30 degrees, okay? So we need to determine what these values are. So again, you need to use the unit circle in order to do this. So we know at 45 degrees, we're gonna have the following x and y values. That's gonna be this. We're gonna have the square root of two all over two and the square root of two all over two. Again, this is x, this is y. And we know that tangent is y over x, right? So if I do y over x here, that's simply just gonna give me one, right? So tangent of 45 degrees is one, right? So we get one and we get minus. Now, what are my x and y values at 30 degrees? So again, let's go ahead and write that here. At 30 degrees, we're gonna have the following. We get the square root of three all over two and a half. Again, these are coming right off the unit circle, okay? So again, tangent is y over x, so I have this. I have a half over the square root of three all over two. So this goes back to keep change flip when we're dividing fractions. So I have a half divided by the square root of three over two. So I'm gonna keep my first fraction. I'm gonna change the multiplication and then I'm gonna flip. So it's two over the square root of three. The twos cancel and you get one over the square root of three. And again, we don't wanna leave square roots in the denominator, so we have to rationalize. So we multiply both the denominator and numerator by the square root of three, and we're left with the square root of three all over three. That is what tangent of 30 degrees is, okay? So now we have all the information we need. We can work on the denominator now. So let's go ahead and just erase this. And working on the denominator, we're gonna have the following. We get one plus tangent of 45, which we know is just gonna be one. So I'm not gonna write it here because one times anything is just always gonna be itself. So I'm not gonna put one here, but we know that tangent of 30 degrees, right, is going to be the square root of three all over three. Okay, so there we are. So now, we, again, we don't wanna have square roots in our denominator, so we have to get rid of that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna multiply by the conjugate, which is one minus the square root of three all over three. And we're gonna do that to both the denominator and numerator. By doing this, this is going to naturally get rid of the square roots in our denominator. So again, we multiply by the conjugate. We have videos on that, so please check that out if you're unaware what the conjugate is. So at this point, we're just gonna use FOIL, so first, outside, inside, last. So multiplying our first terms, we get one. Our outside and inside, you can see that they naturally cancel, that's what we want. And then just doing our last terms, right, we're gonna get minus, square root of three times the square root of three is just three, and then three times three is nine, right? We know that three over nine is just a third, so we get one minus a third, which we know is actually two over three, right? So that's what's on our denominator. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that. I'm just gonna put D equals two over three, so we just know, okay? All right, let's work on the numerator now. So doing first, we get one times one, which is one, okay? Outside, we get the negative square root of three all over three. Inside, we get negative square root of three all over three. And then last, we're gonna get positive, same thing here, we're gonna get three over nine, which we know is a third. So one over three. So let's work and just combine our terms now. So here and here. And we're also gonna combine these right here. So we're gonna do this in two different parts. So let's do one plus a third. So again, that's one over one plus one over three 
right? Multiply the denominators. And then you can see you multiply this by three. So three times one is three. You multiply this by one. So one times one is one. So it's gonna be four over three. So we get four over three. And then just combining these two terms, we're gonna get negative two square root of three all over three. So you can see here that my two terms are sharing the same denominator. So we can rewrite it the following way. So I'm gonna put numerator, okay? And we're gonna rewrite it like this, four minus two square root of three all over three. Okay, we can rewrite it like that. Now we have everything we need. We can go ahead and put it all together. So let's erase this part here so we have room. And let's put our numerator and denominator together now. So we have four minus two square root of three all over three over two over three. So again, this goes back to keep, change, and flip, right? Because I have two fractions that I'm dividing. Okay, this top part is my first fraction, the bottom part is my second fraction, right? So I keep this, I change this to multiplication. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So we change that to multiplication and then we flip. So it's really three over two, okay? And you can see here that the threes, well, those will cancel out, right? And then we can see here that now that we're gonna rewrite it as four minus two square root of three all over two. And just simplifying this even further, we can break it apart. It's really four over two minus two square root of three all over two. And then our final answer can be written like this. We get four divided by two, which is two minus the twos cancel, right? We just get the square root of three. So two minus the square root of three, that is going to be our final answer, right? So that is the value of tangent of 15 degrees. Again, we just did that without a calculator by using the difference formula for tangent, okay? And that is it.